camera's going over. You see him doing this. <laughs> oh no. Why did the editor leave that oh, in? No. He's gone. And then it pans back. And he eats it. And you see him go. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I'm like, oh God. Why did the editor oh, leave that in? Oh. Probably because I didn't care, and it's also children. There was a few uh, boogie disgusting. pickings, but he's the only one I saw eat. Oh my god! I'm throw up. It's time to pack the movies. Today we're talking about tapes with Tony and Johanna and what's her face. Talking about tapes. Hi everyone. I have my my lantern. Is it spooky? Very creepy. <laughs> I got one from the police and fire, and it's like the brightest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this should be brighter. I think the batteries are dying. Mm. But I have this light because it's very dark in the store. Because mm. it's spooky. Why is it when I film with you guys, there's always not a lot of light in the store? It's always dark and I have spooky. No idea. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> the place is always flooding, or there's fog, or something. <laughs> so I'm dying. Going on. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> sharks. Uh, Multiple the sharks. devil has made several appearances. Zombies. Yeah, zombies. Yeah. Zombies. Well, they were outside. They never came in. That's true. Yeah, we got lucky that time. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker galloped on in here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so thank you for joining me in the dark, spooky sore. Mm -hmm. Do we have a copy of, um, what should we call it? The Bruce Willis freaking I See Dead People movie. Uh, what the hell's the name? Six yeah, days. we do. Thank you. It's right, right I want to put that up here because this has that, like, Cliche. I was starting the episode, but I guess <laughs> I guess we're still yeah, set. We're still, we're still starting the episode. <laughs> we're, we're set decorating, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> I'll put it here. Okay. Nice. Yes, it That's is a, a very movie. similar it movie. Out. It is. It is a very similar movie. It came out like two M. years M. after it, I think it was. Uh, this came, mm -hmm. No, Sixth Sense came out before. Yeah. Yeah. This, this movie we were talking oh, about. Oh, the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, thank you for coming out. Hello, well, welcome back, Trisha. Sorry, Sorry about that. Thank you. Uh, and welcome back, Johanna. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> How's Cass Silver versus the Pod Monster going? It's <laughs> I don't good. give a crap. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't. Gabbit about Godzilla is really good, Sp though. <laughs> Speaking of missing anniversaries, uh, the others came out in August, like second or fifth of 2001. So mm -hmm. we missed the anniversary, but we're still yeah. in the same year. It's the same year. It's the same year. This is, uh, what is it, 20 years old now? Holy shit. Jesus, how old are you? <laughs> oh my God. Well, uh, according to the internet, I'm either between 45 and 73 years old. Oh, seems about right. But yeah. you're 54. <laughs> See what I mean? In real life, I'm 31 going on 32. 30, so. No, you're not. You're definitely 35, Tony, don't lie. <laughs> I guess I got left back a lot <laughs> in a school. Lot, yeah. <laughs> Explains a lot. <laughs> did you guys see this when it came out? I did. I didn't. You see it in theaters? I, I think I saw it in theaters, yeah. I did not see it in theaters. Me and my brother were really obsessed with horror movies and everything, so our parents... So was I. That's why it's weird. Yeah, I didn't weird that you didn't see it. See it. Mm. Um, yeah, I eventually saw it on video. This literally the same VHS tape. Uh, and I really, really liked it at the time. And then I never watched it again until last night, and I was interested to see what would happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, it's, it's still pretty good. Yeah, it's still it's a good pretty movie. good. It is. Uh, yeah, guys, it 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 sizzles with suspense, shocks, and surprises, according <laughs> to ABC Radio. Let me read the back of the tape here. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, this is, so, spoiler: uh, Tom Cruise produced this. Mm. While he was still uh, married to her. Okay. <clears throat> I think they broke up around the time it was released. But I'm sure he had something to do with the uh, description on the back of the box. <laughs> Screen sensation, Nicole Kidman, Moulin Rouge, and Eyes Wide Shut. It's like, okay. okay. Coming on a little strong <laughs> there about bit. Nicole Kidman. I mean, sensation. it is Nicole Kidman. Delivers yeah. an utterly unforgettable performance. It's like, okay. She was okay. It was okay. She was okay. In this scary and stylish suspense thriller. While awaiting her husband's return from war, Grace, that's her name? In my notes, I just have Nicole yeah, Kidman. Yeah, I have no idea what her name is. <laughs> no do they, ever, name. Do they use her they name? Ever, no. Yeah, they, they do. It. They do. I, I just, I know the kids have names and I just, yeah, I don't it's know. Nicole Kidman. Uh, and her two young children live in an unusually isolated existence behind the locked doors and drawn curtains of a secluded island mansion. It's a pretty cool location. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, where is Then after three mysterious servants arrive, it becomes chillingly clear that there is far more to this house than can be seen. Okay, yeah, I guess so. Uh, it's not so much the house, but anyway, yeah. uh, Grace finds herself in a terrifying, terrifying fight to save her children and keep her sanity. Not really fighting things. No. Tom, what are you doing? I know he didn't write this, but he was probably like, uh, claimed by great. critics Watch, We'll find out that he did write it. Yeah. <laughs> the unpredictable twists and turns of this compelling hit will keep you guessing as it keeps you riveted to the edge of your seats. Go see Mission Impossible 2. Oh, that's weird. Oh, he wow. added that in yeah, there. <laughs> yeah, so I, I turned on the tape yesterday. We all watched the VHS, the VHS cut because it is streaming nowhere. It's not. I could it's have weird. bought it on Amazon, but I no, didn't it's not like it. on Amazon. I thought it was. It is legit. I went to go on Amazon and it said currently not streaming in your country. I mean, I guess you could use. Oh, VPN. Yeah. yeah. And I it's would love Netflix to suggest a VPN, but a VPN has not hit me up for yeah. a sponsor yet, so I don't know which one to suggest. Uh. <laughs> you like that? You like that? <laughs> you listen to like me, in. Nord or Express <laughs> or whatever one. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. So I pop the tape in, and uh, you know, we get a. We get a uh, preview for signs. Dude, we went back in time. When I was watching that, I was like, whoa, my That's why I like watching the VHS version of these yeah, movies just for the trailers. Cool. Like, huh, exactly. that's a little interesting. Like the guy's voice, whenever you have like the 90s or two, early 2000s trailers, you have that guy who's like explaining like with all oh this like, God. in yeah. 19 whatever, they came and visited. <laughs> my favorite is that signs actually looked good. Right. Yeah, and then you see the actual movie. Yeah, then you like, see the movie. Oh. You're like, this kind of sucks. <laughs> kind of. I would, I would like to talk about signs one day. In, oh, we're, yeah. we're where they filmed Signs, Bucks County, we Pennsylvania. Go. We should definitely go. The only movie that took place in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Ever. Didn't they do uh, the village too here? They did the village here. They did the village here. Most of his films are filmed in Bucks County. They filmed some of uh, Revenge of the Fallen in Bucks County and Philly. Mm-hmm. The best Transformers movie because our good friends in it. They use, almost used my uh, old works pool for uh, some of the Avatar stuff for M Night. Oh, uh, I'm happy it never happened because I hate him for that. I got, oh, no. I got paid seven dollars to try mm-hmm. on outfits for the Last Airbender. <laughs> really? I was gonna be Jackson Rathbone's body double. Wow. I showed up hungover to the outfit trying on. Yeah. Did you get it? They didn't call me back, but they pay me seven dollars to try on $7. the outfits. Seven dollars, that's nice. And everyone says the problem with Last Airbender was that the body double they picked for him wasn't that good. Oh yeah, that's the yeah, one, that's the only thing. That's the one complaint yeah. about that movie. See, no yep. other complaints. You see that? No other complaints. Makes sense. But then there's a trailer for Serendipity. I love Serendipity. No, I fucking love Serendipity. <laughs> Can I just say, watching the trailer, I'm like. The plot to this is fucking stupid. It's really dumb, but it's so like, romantic. Here's my number. Oh, the wind blew my number away. Oh, I can't date you. I'm like, what the fuck, I mean, dude? it's destiny, right? You got to follow destiny. That's what I think. Everything happens for a reason. If you lose someone's number, you weren't meant to talk to them. If it comes back to you, you can talk to them. I don't know. If I was John Cusack, I'd be like, I think I dodged a bullet. That girl's <laughs> insane. I don't know, Tony. Like, I ended up dating you, and now I'm engaged to the love of my life. So, you know. <laughs> Thanks to me. <laughs> And yeah, you put all the work in that. I All I do is make people's lives better. <laughs> yes. And, and all they do is shit on me. I don't understand so why. So rude. I don't know why either. <sighs> <laughs> One day, I'm going to get my revenge on everybody. You know, I try to be nice to you, and then you're mean to me. <laughs> That's true. Uh, at Astronomicon. Tony, you are an asshole sometimes. At Astronomicon, sometimes. I was filming with a, with a fan. And uh, she came over. She's like, here's a Mountain Dew. You want it? I'm like, thank you. My assistant's giving me a Mountain Dew. And then she shook it up. <laughs> oh, no. Out of spite. <laughs> Good. And then it turns out I made that joke for nothing because I forgot to hit record on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And I felt so bad. The fan left. He's Aww. like, this was so exciting. And then I'm like, oh, no. And these no. people are like, do you want me to get him? I'm like, no, I feel bad. <laughs> I'm like, don't let him know that I fucked up. I hope you're not watching this. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, serendipity looks fucking stupid. Uh, and this one, uh, I was telling her before, Harvey Weinstein insisted that they premiere this movie mm-hmm. less than a month after 9-11 happened. And uh, which, what's her face? Kate Beckinsale wore mm-hmm. a suit. And then Harvey Weinstein invited her to his house and then yelled at her for wearing a suit for looking like a, quote, lesbian. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is what Kate Beckinsale says. I don't know if right. it's true. We're going to throw I'm a lot sure of allegedly out here. But... <laughs> It's Harvey Weinstein, I'm guessing yeah, it's true. Exactly. He doesn't have the best record. No, absolutely not. And the other trailer is Iron Monkey, and I haven't seen either of these I movies. I have no nope. idea what Iron Monkey is. Iron Monkey looked pretty damn good, though. I was watching the trailer, and I'm like, that was pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Yes, and, uh, you know, we finally get in the film. Directed by Alejandro... Uh, 
Is that is that the director, Alejandro? My He's phone's calling. on silent mode, so I don't understand why that did that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, Trisha, I'm having trouble reading this name, and he's Spanish, and that's basically Italian. Can you read his name? Alejandro Amenabar. I don't know if that's right. Sound, sound. It's the same. There's an thing. accent on the A. So it's the same thing. <laughs> They're right next to each other. Like, yeah, of course. Same language, right? Very similar. What? They're, they're basically the same thing. Basically. Mamma mia, Don. <laughs> <laughs> and he has directed movies. I don't know. I looked him up on IMDb. I didn't see a single one. I think Penelope really? Cruz was on the poster of one of them. Oh, interesting. It must be good then. They're what mostly. Does. Is Penelope, I love Penelope Cruz. Penelope Cruz, the side of a good movie. I mean, I like I know, her I love too, her. but <laughs> Pirates 4 was just okay. Well, I don't know if I would say that's a great movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, don't know. I haven't seen anything he did. Mm -mm. And it doesn't look like he's done a lot of American stuff since, but uh, good for him. Well, apparently <laughs> this won some type of Spanish award, even though there's not a lick of Spanish spoken in this movie. Oh, mm -hmm. this is like, uh, like a melting pot. Uh, yeah. right. An Australian lead. Uh, what's it called? They filmed in like it takes place in Britain, but it's shot in Spain okay. with an American crew. Right. So the production company is probably well. The production company is the Weinstein. Weinstein yes, right? our good Tom friends, Cruise. the Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> probably they. It was funded by Spain, and so that's why. Yeah, it was... and and apparently Tom Cruise did something. Yeah. I don't know if that's a real credit or what. I just learned uh, what vanity credits are. Did you ever watch like a show or a movie and like a an actor from the show or movie gets a credit as a producer? Mm -hmm. A lot of times that's just they don't that, do anything. Oh, okay. They call oh, it a vanity, vanity credit. credit. So what you should technically have for Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> exactly. I have no credit in that movie. <laughs> yeah. I'm really upset about that. Nicole Kidman, she tried to quit during rehearsals. Yeah. And she didn't want to do the movie. Why not? She had just done Moulin Rouge, mm -hmm. and I guess she had a fun time on that piece of shit. Um, That's a good movie. That and she's like, cute. I don't want to do a sad, depressing movie afterwards. Uh, she was also uh, saying she was getting nightmares about her character, because really, That's what a, happens? And I'm just like, what are you talking lie. about? Yeah, like, what? It's a fucking lie. Yeah, no shit. No, there's no way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so she was scared, uh, I guess. And then she tried to quit during rehearsals, and mm -hmm. they like begged her to stay on. I don't, you could have gotten anyone, yeah. I guess. I don't think you need it, Nicole Kidman. It was. I guess she's like very popular at the time. They needed the name. I guess, and I guess if Tom Cruise is producing. Uh, but yeah, Tom Cruise and her separate it. Like maybe right that's why she didn't want to do the film, though. She just maybe because to get away. they were like, you know, having difficulties, and she's like. Oh. But he has been known to like be on set and mm -hmm. make sure like things are going his way. Like mm -hmm. apparently, that's like people think people stop hiring. Oh, I'm sorry. Katie Holmes. People stop hiring Katie Holmes because they didn't want to deal with Tom Cruise. Does Tom Thank Cruise? Thank God they're not together. <laughs> Katie Holmes Christ. free. <laughs> free Katie Holmes. Apparently, Katie Holmes looks like Trisha, or and Trisha looks I mean, like Katie Holmes. I mean, I don't Holmes. know. That's what they say. No. I get stopped on the street all the time. Oh my God, it's Katie Holmes. <laughs> It happened. She somehow looks a lot younger. I'm not sure how that works out, but know. okay. <laughs> she got out of the cult. That's why. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, oh, the reason we're doing this, not just because it's the 20th anniversary, mm -hmm. but they announced last year that they are remaking this mm. as like a series or or maybe just another movie. I thought it was a movie. Uh, but they're remaking it for the second time because I learned that Bollywood remade this movie. <laughs> Jesus. There is a ball, and I looked at the the posters like the same thing with the lantern no and stuff, and it's called "Whom Can Hai?" Question mark. I don't know what that means. I don't know. But I want to watch it because most Bollywood movies require like a dance number. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Like music, dancing. Like, yeah, and I'm like, and I'm, after watching this movie, I'm like, how do you work a dance number into that? <laughs> They'll figure out a way. They'll we figure have to it watch out. That. Like when I watched the, the Bollywood Matrix movie. Which is actually a remake of the whole nine yards, the Bruce Willis movie. Huh. It has a Matrix thing in the beginning, and then the rest is a remake That's of that it. movie. But they work dancing into that, so uh, I'll see <laughs> what happens there. They I am do gonna... something like before dinner. They do like a dancing ballroom <laughs> right, thing. Yeah, I don't there know. Go. There's ghosts. You got to do a dance to get the ghosts out. <laughs> the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, the animals and plants. Not a single one existed. Only God existed, and so only He could have created them. And he did. Starts mm. with Nicole Kimmon, and she's talking about how the world was created 6,000 years ago. 
which is totally true. And that's what Absolutely. I believe. I believe, believe every, in that? yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So you're, you're, you're very religious. Tony. I'm very religious. Okay. And I, I've tried to get nude into religion mm -hmm. and he, he refused <sighs> to get into religion. And now his face is falling off. And I kept telling him, just what? go back to church. <laughs> um, nude, go back to church. Yeah. So she's telling the do. story of, you know, uh, the world was created in seven days, which we all know because it's a scientific of course, fact. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, but I like the creepy opening with the drawings. Mm hmm. Not the drawings from later no. in the movie, but like the good creepy drawings lit by the candles. Lighting, yeah, mm -hmm. it's got a nice visual style to it. It's funny because like back in the '90s and the early 2000s, you always had those openings where they gave all the credits in the beginning. Yeah, we um, it's kind of boring though. I, Thank God they stopped it. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know when this comes down in relation, but we're talking about Spider-Man, how we miss mm. opening title oh, sequences. Oh, really? <laughs> That's funny. And if you missed the Spider-Man episode, uh, the I think. The director, some kind of union rule, you have to have two credit sequences. Mm -hmm. And that's why these days they put them at the end. Right. So okay. when you see like a Marvel movie and stuff, if it doesn't have an opening credits, they'll have like a cool animated credit sequence at the end and then the boring one because they just shove right. it back to oh, back. Okay, that makes sense. Makes I like sense. opening credit sequences. Mm -hmm. I liked it in this. I like the creepy candle lights. Mm -hmm. I like a lot about the candle lights because some of the scenes of the movie are lit legit by candles. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of hard to do. I was going to say, with the lighting, like, how do you do that? If it's so dark, you only have candles. It's a pain in the yeah. ass. They pulled, <laughs> it huh? they pulled it off with the witch. Huh? They pulled it off with the witch or the vavitch. Yeah, well, they had a lot of time with the witch. Did you see the witch? I don't, oh, I don't know. so good. No, you know what? No, oh. no, no, no. Don't tell her that. Because it's going to be one of those movies that's actually good, and she's going to watch 10 minutes and be like, boring, and then turn <laughs> no, off like the, like the lighthouse. Uh, oh, okay, the lighthouse I couldn't get into. What was the other one? Oh, the witch. Who's in the witch? Hold on. Uh, Anna that? Taylor Joy, that blonde girl with the eyes that are too far apart, but she's still kind of cute. That one. Kind of cute. She's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I relax. might have seen it. I have to look it up. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. So I like the whole candlelight look. Uh, this is set in 1945. So like right, right after, after the, the war. war. Jinx, you owe me a coke. Yeah, like, what I don't the fuck know. was that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're from cafe. <laughs> <laughs> So the three people show up, Miss Mills, Mr. Uh, you left out the part where she was screaming. Oh, yeah. She wakes up yeah. scream. I'm sorry. Hold you on. didn't turn your phone off. Hold on. It's uh, someone named Potential Spam. <laughs> Hello? Why is Donna there? Donna's my mom. Thank you. There's no message. We'll just try back. Thanks. What? Bye -bye. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> Don't you hang up. What the fuck? We'll try back. Like, what are you trying back Who for? Who are you calling There's back? No Why are you? What? This is like all weird. week long. I've been getting calls about my mom. It's weird. That was really creepy. <laughs> yeah, she wakes up screaming <laughs> for some reason. Uh, and I realized my my notes something autocorrected because it's supposed to be Mr. Tuttle, but it says okay, Mr. Turtle. turtle. <laughs> That was on turtle. <laughs> and now I want to Photoshop the turtle guy from Master of Disguise. Yeah, so it. <laughs> turtle. Uh, but yes. Miss... <laughs> Sorry. Repeat that. <laughs> turtle. Turtle. Uh, Mr. Why Mills? do you say it all like guttural? Like I can't even do it's it. It's like Kermit the Frog voice, but I can't keep it up long because then my throat starts to hurt. <laughs> That's we, amazing. We know a guy oh, who could do an, an expert Kermit the Frog mm. voice. Frog. Frog. <laughs> <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> anyway, he can do Miss Piggy too. Yes. So Miss, Mrs. Mills, <laughs> Mr. Tuttle, Turtle. and Lydia the Mute arrive mm -hmm. the next day and they're there to work on the house. Yep. Uh, apparently, Nicole Kidman's previous workers just fucking up and left. Yeah. No note, no nothing. nothing. Didn't even collect their money. She doesn't seem that worried about it. But now I'm like wondering who they actually were. Were they actually... Well, don't say anything Well, I'm not going to say anything, but I'm just like, in my mind, I'm wondering now that- I think I have a guess as to why they left. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, uh, we noticed that Nicole Kidman is locking every door behind her, and she's very, very serious about this, and then midway through the movie, she stops doing she this. She just stops. Did you, you notice that, right? Yeah. That was weird. Right. I'm like, she suddenly just goes to just shutting the door. I'm like, all right, what happened to the, the militant locking yeah. you were doing earlier? Maybe just to show like the workers that it's like a serious thing. Oh, so she's doing it. Like rules purpose. for me. Yeah. Rules for thee, but not for me. Mm -hmm. Do Maybe. as I say, not as I do. One exactly. of those. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> hate those people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so she tells him, like, the workers left. Uh, the husband is dead. Well, they never say dead. I mean, I he went off to war and he's not back. <clears throat> it's implied mm -hmm. that he is dead. 
Uh, also, I like they're like, we have no electricity. The Nazis kept turning it off and we just they learned just to live without it. Left it off. Uh, but there is a reason <laughs> they have to keep all the doors shut and all the curtains closed. Yeah. It's because her uh, kids are photosensitive. Right. They can't go out into the light or they'll yeah, get rashes. They're allergic and to the light. And... Uh, and it's apparently a real condition. Mm -hmm. um, it's called xeroderma pigmentosum. Mm. I'm sorry to all you medical students. <laughs> I butchered that. I think it was uh, good. Yeah, it's an extreme sensitivity to light, and it's very rare with roughly a thousand people in the world that have it. This is interesting. And this is very rare. A and thousand this chick people. popped out too. One after the other. Two of them. Yeah, exactly. But do you that, think they actually had something going on? Or do you think? Yeah, no, they, they, they probably did. They definitely did. Okay, you imagine being that dad. It's like, well, that first one has that issue. Hopefully, the second, right, the, the, second, the one. second one too. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. Do you have a history of this? Right, like, exactly. Is it hereditary? Hereditary, mm -hmm. like my eye issue. Mm. Ooh, hereditary is so good. Hereditary is a good movie. Mm. You saw that I've, one. I've, I've okay, seen that, that one you made you, it all I the did. way through. I, yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the kids uh, are pretty miserable. Yeah. But I, yeah. I guess I'd be too if the son was trying to kill me and my dad never came back from the war. I mean, I'd, I'd be pretty sad. Understandable, they're depressed. Yeah. Uh, and at some point, the daughter's the the daughter is uh, you know having lunch with Miss Mills, and mm -hmm. she basically hints that something happened with Nicole Kidman a few weeks prior. Like, yeah, she went mad. She went crazy. But she doesn't get to elaborate because mm -hmm. uh, they get like interrupted. interrupted. And the son's also being like, shut up. The kid's like, shut right. up. <laughs> Be quiet. Uh, but yeah, Nicole came in, and this is like a red flag right here. She's like, hey, I just checked the mailbox, and my letter to the newspaper was never sent. So how did you get here? And the girl's just like, oh, well, we used to work here. And we, we just decided to check in and see yeah. if you needed any help or something. Yeah, we guessed <laughs> like, that we maybe just... you need help. And we were in the neighborhood, and we have all this experience. And I'd be right. like... I'd be like, all right, well, I'm calling the cops. Right, exactly. Uh, Get you the guys hell out need... of my house. Yeah, can you guys leave right now? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm going to call it. I would get right. that shotgun and be like, all right, here we go. Exactly. <laughs> Funny how things She change. sure loves that shotgun. Yeah. She really does. She calls I it a rifle, that. but it looks like a shotgun. Yeah. Because it has a two barrels. I'm not a I'm not a gun man. Neither am I. So I mean, we all support the Second Amendment, but we're not really well versed in the types of guns. Not at all. Um, I do this every time. <laughs> what? Nothing, Tony. Just every time. Movie. I love the others. America. Anyway. <laughs> oh, we seem to have a customer. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi. What's going on? Help you yourself, I guess. Do you need Do you need help finding a tape? Oh, that, that's the kid's. What? what well, fuck man, you. You gotta pay. <laughs> just stole the tape and walked out. Was that dinosaur? I, she oh, stole dinosaur. So what the hell? <laughs> but yeah, Nicole Kidman. She seems pretty miserable in this. A little bit. Probably because her kids can't go out in the sunlight <laughs> and her husband is dead. But you yeah. know, <laughs> if my kids were trying to get murdered by the sun, and my husband never came back from war, I. I'd be pretty sad Thank you, too. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, but yeah, then they're having like a lecture. So she's very religious in this film. Very like, I religious. I mean, the whole thing you can even tell. And yeah. then we'll get into other things. Because I think that's leading into the twist. I think that's right. part of like her struggle of how she understands things. Mm -hmm. But exactly. yeah, the kids, uh, they, they read a story of the people who uh, accepted Christ and died. The, the Romans killed them. <laughs> Our bad, sorry. To be fair, us <laughs> Italians, we did do a hard us 180 Italians. on the Christian oh thing. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Like, like we were pretty bad. Yeah. And then we went like, that's the whole country. Oh, <laughs> you can't go five feet, I guess. I don't know. You've been there. I mean, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So so I think <laughs> we made up this. for it. Can you all just accept her apology now? <laughs> we but have yes. the Vatican. Yes, the Romans uh, killed a bunch of Christians because mm -hmm. they decided to accept Christ. And the kids are like, I just would have lied. And the mom's like, you're going to you're fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me of Catholic school, right? Going yeah. there like, oh, you didn't go to church this weekend? You're going to fucking hell. <laughs> like, thank you, Monsignor. <laughs> go to confession. <laughs> yeah, uh, our grade school. We mentioned in another was, episode, we yeah. had a Monsignor who was... <laughs> awful terrible person. and he would tell people they were going to hell all the time he told me the war in iraq so every catholic school 
Yeah, but he was telling it to like really young kids. Yeah. Not I, like every hey. Catholic school. Yeah. Yeah. He, he said the war in Iraq was my fault because my family wasn't going to church. I'm sorry. Great. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all your so fault. Sorry. We got to go to church. Look Tony. what you've done. Yeah. Look at the state of the world right now, Tony. It's all your fault. Specifically my fault. Yeah. Not my parents. Like, you got to tell your parents. Like Exactly. You- that was my issue, too. Like, they didn't, like, say, oh, your parents didn't take you to church. They're going to hell. Like, I was like, I don't know. I'm eight years old. How am I <laughs> like, getting to I, church? I don't, I don't drive. I mean, I guess I can walk, but I don't think it's safe. <laughs> no, you have to drive your parents. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then she's like, yeah, so if you, uh, deny Christ, you're going to go to hell. You're going to be in limbo, mm. the special hell for children. And there's four hells. And I don't know where she's getting I this have from. No idea. Like, because really Catholic hell is not really well defined. Yeah. There's Dante's Inferno. Then it's a fictional story. Right. Yeah. But I've never heard of this like four stages of hell. Mm-hmm. Like, have you heard of this? No, I don't know what she's my, my went to right to um, Dante's Inferno. Because even though yeah. it's not four, it's like what? It's eight. Uh, yeah. Eight eight eight? Yeah. Seven or eight, yeah. Seven? I just read it. I don't remember. That's you just read it. <laughs> Literally. You read it on the way here. <laughs> on the way here, pretty much. I'm writing like, a paper on it, but anyway. Like, we'll hey, hey, so I'm reading uh, Dante Alighieri's uh, Divine Comedy. It's pretty good. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't find very much comedy in <laughs> Comedy meant something different back then. Anyway. Oh, no. yeah. Um, yeah, so she tells her kids they're going to hell. They're going to limbo. And I think this scene gives homeschooling a bad name. <laughs> Well, yeah, if they're going to teach him like that, probably. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Kidman uh, hears her kid crying mm-hmm. and like rushes. She thinks it's the son My at son, first. Yeah. And then she rushes the daughter and they're both like, we're not crying. We're not crying. Are you, what? We're, we're fine. I relate to these kids. Really? Yeah, yeah not I, crying. I, I don't cry. Uh, <laughs> Soulless. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crying? I'm like, no. No. Uh, but yeah, so the daughter apparently like makes up stories. This is where she blames it on Victor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who's like a pianist or something, or yeah. his dad's a pianist his, or something. It's his dad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, his dad is, yeah. <laughs> uh, but the kid, Kimmins like, uh, you're stupid. That's not true. Right, and then, like, so... there's like a door just open. Yeah. So you think there's like a ghost in the house. You think yeah. Victor is the ghost. Yeah, yeah. So she yells at her staff, and they're like, we Wait, did do you it? hear that? Is that Victor? No, that's the, not the door. Oh. No, it's not <laughs> Victor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but speaking of Victor... Uh, we find out the the daughter is like stereotyping ghosts. Mm-hmm. She's like, Victor's not a ghost. Ghosts wear white <laughs> sheets and chains. I'm like, all right. I'm, stereotypical I'm like, ghost. I'm like, you know, Charles Dickens story, maybe. But That's not what even I thought. Then. I was just like, right. hmm. not even that. He has the chain. Jacob Marley has the chains, but he doesn't wear white robes. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Uh, but the kids wake up and their curtain is wide open. Mm-hmm. And this scene terrified me the first <laughs> time I saw yeah, it. This is the one that gets me every time. Yeah. Even though this, I've only seen it twice, but still. Yeah, this, scene, this scene scared the shit out of yeah. me when I first saw it. There's enough Victor. Because I wasn't expecting to hear and see Victor this right, early right, in the yeah. movie. I was mm-hmm. waiting like minute 40 or something. Mm-hmm. The feet hitting the ground yeah. is what got me. I was like, oh, God. So, <laughs> so basically, yeah, the girl's just like, yeah, this Victor kid just keeps opening up the curtains. He's like, I don't believe you. She's like, all right, I'll shut him. And then you see a silhouette of a boy. <laughs> right. And the boy's like trying to touch the, the son. Yeah. It's like, oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> but it's funny how like calm the daughter is, too, though, like throughout. The yeah, film, the daughter's like, the like they're not ghosts. They're just people they're living fine. in our house. Yeah. I'm like, that's scarier yeah, what the fuck exactly. <laughs> get out of my house uh, but yeah she gets uh, blamed for it and she's forced to pray mm-hmm. uh, we also learned that there's a fog that's been around the house yep and Nicole Gibbons like yeah just this eerie fog rolled in one day and it hasn't left it hasn't and also gone. all the seagulls are gone <laughs> okay the seagulls I don't get them leaving mm-hmm. but the fog I can kind of get because I've been to the UK yeah. and mm-hmm. it's Stop brag much. basically <laughs> I've been to the UK. I've been to Italy. <laughs> My name's Tony. Uh, I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I, I've been to... New Jersey? <laughs> I've been to Jersey. <laughs> Jersey. I went to the Hollywood Wax Museum in Myrtle Beach recently. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> That's basically the same thing. Same. Oh, yeah. Uh, what culture? But yeah, apparently it's foggy there. 
I guess that's why they can only call it like foggy London town or something. Mm. Yes. But yes. Even though I was there at one point when it was like nice and sunny and beautiful, but yeah. you know. I uh, I get creeped out by fog stuff. Yeah, me too. Even when I'm driving in the morning, if it's like foggy. Yeah. Well, I told you why. <laughs> uh, the original fog, not mm-hmm. that 2005 remake right, that looked like right. shit. The original John Carpenter fog, I saw that as a kid, mm-hmm. and it really scared me. But it yeah. scared me in the beginning because the name of the town was Antonio Bay, and I was oh, like, oh, no. no. <laughs> like, oh, no, I don't like that. It's especially scary. And I'm like, oh, look at that spooky fog. And there's <laughs> pirates with leprosy. I'm like, that's scary. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> oh, no, it's my name. I'm spooky. Uh, <laughs> don't watch the fog at night when you're trying to sleep. I did that the other night, and I forgot, like, that's one of those movies where it's, like, really quiet, mm-hmm. and then something really loud happens, and oh. I don't know what the audio mix for home video, a lot of these movies have this. Mm-hmm. The audio mix for the home video experience is not right, no. so, like, the sounds are all over the fucking place. They want you to have, like, a five, like, surround sound thing, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and it's like, I just have my TV speaker, so I was, like, falling asleep to John Carpenter's music, and then, like, a car horn would wake me up. <laughs> What the hell is that? I feel like, you know what? So I used to watch, I watched this at my grandfather's house and the old TV he had was terrible with mm. that. Where like, you couldn't hear anyone talking, but whenever the music Yeah, you blared, turn it up so and then all of a sudden loud. it'd be like, blah, and it's like, oh God. Yeah. And I think that's why it was so scary when the kid came out. That's probably, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. God, I hate that. Because <laughs> one, I, I, I don't hate jump scares too much. But when there's it's a, a lot of them in this. Yeah, but when there's yeah. a jump scare and also the sound system's fucked, yeah. there's a really creepy scene where Nicole Kidman's like, tell that mute girl to stop slamming her feet mm-hmm. and messing around. And the old lady's <laughs> like, okay, I'll get right on it. Right. And then, like, she sees like the They're chandelier just, yeah. shaking, looks out the window and Lydia's there. I'm like, They're that's talking. terrible. I don't yeah. like that. Mm-mm. I hate, like, that's that's what like scares me when like I... You don't know what's going on. Yeah, when yeah. I know like I'm like, if I know I'm in a house alone and I hear yeah. something, I'm like, I don't like that. Right. Don't like that. So I have a Paranormal <laughs> exactly. Activity movie. The very first one scared the shit out of me. Oh, yeah. You're such that a was, weenie. That was a scary movie, though. Yeah, well, that, that's <laughs> what I'm afraid. I'm afraid of knowing I'm alone in the house, but hearing, hearing things. things. So yeah. ghosts? <laughs> well, not ghosts specifically. It sounds like you would be afraid of an actual ghost if that was the situation. <laughs> No, if I knew it was a ghost, I think I'd be able to handle it. The fact that I don't know what it is is what scares me. Yeah, it could be. Oh, anything. you know what? I'm reminded of that one time at like your parents' like old place, yeah. and I came over and you were down in the basement. And you were just like, <laughs> just go to the basement. Yeah. I was so zoned out. <laughs> and you I were was, watching something I was on the watching, TV. I don't know what. I was completely zoned out. I didn't hear her come in. I didn't hear her go down the stairs. Oh no. I didn't hear her enter the living room. And I'm like on the thing, and she like. Threw her bag next to me. I was like, oh my God. I was so fucking terrified. I just remember you telling me later, you're like, yep. Like in your mind, you're like, yep, this is it. This is how I go. This is it. I'm going to be murdered now. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. And my old, my And you knew I was coming too. That was the thing. My downstairs living room was like wide. Right. So she had to like walk Walk. in for a while. And I don't know what the fuck was on TV, but I was real into it. Wow. (laughs) Like it just scared the shit out of me. That that story will stick with me forever, mainly because of the um, monologue you gave yourself. (laughs) (laughs) This is how it's gonna go. (laughs) Speaking of things that scared us, you notice I brought my Terminator 3 cutout in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were with me when I bought that, my Arnold Schwarzenegger Mm cutout. And so we bought it, I put it in my old room, and then we went and did something. (laughs) We forgot that we had bought it that day. Oh, no. So I came home at night and I opened my door and I just, because I put it in front yeah, of my window and I just see the silhouette of that giant man. I was like, ah! <laughs> it's in my room. Those That's are some so real funny. life horror stories. Have you ever spent a night in a haunted house? Uh, or would you ever? Haunted houses aren't real. Um, uh, Yes, they are. I mean. Ghosts are real. Places can be well, haunted. every chick thinks every house is haunted <laughs> and ghosts are real. So wh- what's your definition? Every of house? Ha- yeah. No, not every house. Every is every chick thinks their house is haunted. And I don't think my house isn't haunted. It's not haunted. My house is not haunted. It's new. How can it be haunted? But who lived there? Who lived there before? No one. It was just Doris. I did. I, I had an ex that I used to freak out. She lived in the 55 and older homes where Byberry used to be mm-hmm. when they tear down oh. Byberry. Yeah. And I would just like hang out in a room, like, oh, just think about it. There was like a crazy guy probably jerking Honestly, off right would, there. And she's like, gr- stop bringing it up. <laughs> I'm like, That's oh, man. I'm like, wow, your room's out, pretty though. big. There might have been a crazy guy who put like poop everywhere. <laughs> Maybe he's still here. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but 
no, I wasn't afraid to sleep there. I was like, no. ghosts aren't real. Ma. <laughs> Are they real? Have you ever I, seen one? I have. Here we no, go. I really have. Here we honestly. go. All right, tell me about the ghost. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you? <laughs> yeah, tell me about the ghost. Tell me about the ghost. Well, no, it was it was actually after my uncle had passed away. It was like a couple weeks. Okay. And I, I don't know, I was like 10 years old maybe. And I was going into my room and I just see my uncle standing there. This is a true story. Okay. And then I go and I sit on my bed and he like waves to me and then he just disappears. That's <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> so you go <laughs> so your uncle became a ghost. He became and a ghost. And on he his... just came, I didn't get to say goodbye to him. So I feel like he just came by oh, okay. to say goodbye. I was <laughs> so his version and... of goodbye was just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. Maybe he didn't stay long. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you're laughing. Tr tr you're like, Trisha, this is very serious. That 100% did not happen. <laughs> that 100% did not happened. happen at I all. Okay. I actually heard that's like pretty common with kids, especially like when you're younger, because apparently mm -hmm. I, when my grandfather died, I would just talk to this one corner really? like all the time, and they think it was my grandfather, because like that's who the so hell else would it be? Yeah. Or I was just crazy, and I talked to myself because <laughs> my I was a baby. Tells that story <laughs> who knows? Time. She's like, who knows? you said you were talking to an old lady, and then I showed a picture of your dead grandmother, and you said it was her. See? And I was like, I was probably just... I was like three. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking. I'm probably making That's shit thing, up. That's the thing, though. Like you don't know, though. But no, I think that kids can definitely see. We don't know everything that exists in well, this world. I brought this up in a previous episode, but it was the Velocipaster episode. No one watched it. So here's my theory on ghosts. Mm. What are the only two ghosts you ever hear about? People and pets. Have you ever seen? There's a, demons too. Have you ever seen a ghost deer? Have you ever seen ghost bacteria? Have you ever seen a ghost dinosaur? Everyone, Maybe we have, but we just don't not, realize. Everyone's that. like, ghosts have unfinished business. It's like, you know, I feel like a lot of the dinosaurs had unfinished <laughs> business when the fucking asteroid hit them. I, we, if, if that's real, we should be seeing a lot of fucking dinosaurs. I have right. unfinished business. I never finished eating the thing. <laughs> well, maybe dinosaurs aren't real. I don't know. So anyway, that proved my theory. <laughs> that proved my theory that uh, all women think they've seen ghosts. Oh, no, my God. Try it. Try it. I want you to ask 10 girls if they have seen a ghost. Hi, I'm Jessica, and here's my ghost picture. I took this picture of a window in Williamsburg, Virginia, around 10 years ago. If you look closely, you can see a face looking right out in the middle of the window. Here are the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. It definitely looks like the face of a grown man. In my opinion, probably a colonial soldier. But this is definitely proof that ghosts are real. So in your face, Tony. And if you don't believe me, then eat my shoe. I don't fucking know. So what I'm getting from this is men suck. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> they don't feel things because like you don't cry. No so emotion. we can agree that men are better at being ghostbusters. Men are scared <laughs> of the truth. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Anyway, back to this movie. That was ghost talk. <laughs> oh, I'll give you that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's really creepy when the mm. chandelier is shaking. And again, the girl is just like, yeah, mom, they're, they're, all, they're just it's hanging fun. out. They're over there. Just the others, whoever they are. They said the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the room full of sheets. Yeah, that was, and that always creeps me out in movies. Yeah. When they like, go Actually, in, you know something's going to happen. One of the last ones he did was, uh, what you call it? I know we did last summer where yeah. the killer put the sheet over it, like <laughs> right. the plastic sheet. But it's like, wait a minute. Why do I have a mannequin dressed as a fisherman here? That doesn't make sense. But no, no. The stuff where there's like sheets, that mm -hmm. does creep me out. Uh, yeah. What movie did it? Oculus had a really good scene. Yeah. Oculus. With yeah. the sheet in the mirror and mm -hmm. you see like the sheet start to move. That was good. Yeah. So well, this is pretty what cool. Was like interesting about that is that when uh, Nicole Kidman goes in, mm. right, and she's like looking around, and then all of a sudden she like backs up, and then the sheet falls off, and it's a Jesus statue, and it's like touching her. I don't was know it if you Jesus? That. Yeah, it was Jesus. I didn't think he could have a beard. I thought maybe it was like Mary. It so, was a religious one. Figure. Yeah, it was some religious yeah. thing. <laughs> that girl really likes religion. Yeah, she's got the exactly. giant statue. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she's so religious. Why are they covered? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, why were they I, I know the answer, but oh, I don't yeah. want to spoil like, it yet. <laughs> yeah, I guess technically Makes she sense. should be like, why are these covered? Right, but why anyway. would yeah? Okay. <laughs> good point. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is really really creepy. With like, and I like when she sees the mirror and the door is like just slowly. Mm. Closing. There's a lot of good. 
this feels like a very classic ghost kind of story. And I yeah. think it was influenced by the turning of the screw, which all ghost stories are. That story was uh, the basis for Haunting of Fly, Fly Manor, Manor mm-hmm. the second season. Wasn't as good as the first season. It wasn't. But I still liked it. It's still good, yeah. It was, it was okay. What I you have against gay watch. people? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I saw that argument. I'm like, that's not it, guys. That's not it. <laughs> no, it's just the first one was exactly. like so good. And the second one was just kind of meh. There was no like, uh, what are the long take scenes called? Yeah. The, the single the, shot yeah. and they're moving the camera. Around. There was none of that. But season mm-hmm. two did have uh, Mark from the room in it. Anyway. Uh, so there's a lot of classic ghost stuff like this. Just yeah. like real simple shit, Victorian age. Like, oh, the door mm-hmm. moved by itself. Oh, hey, Karen's here. Hey, hey Karen. 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 How's it going? Karen? Hello? Uh, Look, I understand ignoring, like, Tony, but me? Really gonna miss you, big heck? guy. Where, Tony, where, for you, man. Where, where, where are you going? What? what? Why just Tony? I, <laughs> what about us? I guess I'll <laughs> see you when you get back from wherever you're going. That's weird. The daughter. The daughter <laughs> gives the mom inf- some information. Explain what the daughter does here to help so the, the mother. So the daughter's like drawing all the people that she's seeing, right? And then the mom like sees these this drawing and she's like, oh my God, who are these people? And then she goes and looks through all the photo albums, like trying to like identify who her daughter drew, but her daughter drew like stick figures. <laughs> How the fuck are you going to find It's literally this like, <laughs> here, I'll, I'll see if I can That's do it. the funniest thing. I was like, she's so serious about it. How are you going to find them? <laughs> oh my god. What's with the hair? <laughs> That's she's, literally it. She's literally like, I see this one the most. She looks like 14 times. Like, who is counting yeah, how like, many I times you've 14 seen a times. <laughs> By the way, there's no tally. It's the number 14. The so number. every time she sees them, does she like rip up the thing and then make Just a new drawing? <laughs> So Some funny. 14 times. Ooh. <laughs> and it's supposed to be scary, but you're right. It's like, wow, they it's couldn't. So funny. Who drew the pictures in the beginning of the movie for that <laughs> right. montage? Get them to do it. Exactly. This also, apparently, um, uh, <laughs> the director did kind of base this off of like drawings he saw in books from like the 30s and 40s mm-hmm. when like the movie takes place. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Kimmon's like, well, Enough of that shit. She starts loading her gun. It's just like, we have intruders. We're going to check every goddamn corner of this house. (laughs) Someone's in my house. (laughs) And uh, I love this scene because the right to bear arms is very important. I'm glad that Nicole Kidman's character agrees with that, as do we all. It was 1945 after the war. Of course, you have to be armed, right? Yeah. Mm. That means she would have had to have, like, hide it from the Nazis because they probably weren't cool with that. She says the Nazis never came. She's like, I, I, she's like, I spent five years with the war. We didn't deal with one Nazi mm-hmm. other than them turn off electricity. And like, now I got some assholes hanging right. out in my house. Exactly. <laughs> we made it through. Uh, but yeah, then the girl, um, she's talking to Miss Mills mm-hmm. about things that she believes in. She doesn't agree with her mom's beliefs. Like she doesn't think the world was created in seven days. Right. Smart girl. No. I know she's smart because she has like a mind of her own. She can think. She doesn't. Uh, no, it's stupid. It was made in seven. Are you ki- okay? Yeah, and I realize. I oh yeah, and Adam and Eve are the only two people. So I guess we're I all realize, just I, related, I, I, right? I put a joke mm, in incest. Here. I put a joke in here that I can't use because it'll contradict my dinosaur thing from earlier. But I was like, she probably thinks dinosaurs are real. <laughs> See, that's what. And I'm I said, like, shit, right? I can't use that joke. I just brought up my dinosaur ghost thing. But she probably believes other stupid stuff like the world being round. Dumb. What? <laughs> a few years ago I was I tweeting I uh, a few years ago I was tweeting uh, when, I, oh, when I went to the Florida Keys I was taking a picture outside the plane I'm like I don't see a curve and you try to tell me it's around oh, and people thought I was being serious like are you, are you serious are you, you right believe now? that shit I'm like do you see a curve <sighs> That's crazy. Uh, Nicole Kidman finds a book of dead people which was the thing they used to do, though. They used to take pictures. And yeah. they explained it in the film, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, to keep their souls. Yeah, going. they thought it would, like, keep their souls. But, like, don't they want their souls to go on? Like, I don't know. Why do they want to? You know, they used to do things with, like, hair, too. They would take your hair and make, like, stuff in jewelry. And mm-hmm. people would actually keep that and wear it. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. It's actually really pretty. Yeah. I like, if you go look it up, like, the stuff's actually really pretty. You also Thank collect, you. You also agree, collect like, taxidermy <laughs> dead animals. Your point? <laughs> How dare you? I have skulls. 
I have a, <laughs> um, what? what is it, a stillborn hedgehog. <laughs> I feel like you of all people would be okay with that. Oh, shit. I forgot to post the picture. At Astronomicon, they had a dead hedgehog in like a glass bowl. Mm. And I, I, I took a picture of it and I wanted to post it. I'm like, he's not going to go fast anymore. Aww. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> You crack yourself up. I do. I do. I'm glad someone finds you funny. L- live, yourself. laugh, love. Right. Live, laugh, love. Please stop. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's kind of creepy that people actually did that. Mm-hmm. And also, I think one of the people in the pictures, I was reading some fact, it was like one of the producers. I guess he just threw himself oh, in. Oh, no. <laughs> but the one that's like really sad is like the two little kids like yeah. holding hands. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Mm, that's sad. Uh, and I guess there would be a lot because they, they mentioned a little bit later that tuberculosis kind of plagued the island. They're on the island oh. of Jersey, by the way. Right. Old Jersey, not New not Jersey. Jersey. New Jersey, the Jersey Shore. It's a completely different <laughs> Jersey, too. <laughs> that's what the remake should be. It should take place in <laughs> New Jersey. Jersey. <laughs> An island in New Jersey. No, he's fucking ghosts all over the fucking place. <laughs> the calves are here. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> that would be genius. Just hire the cast of the Jersey Shore. Yeah, exactly. just, I am friends with Vinny. Well, I hung out with Vinny twice. What do you mean? When I on the old TV show I worked Dude, on. Dude, you always hang out with all these people and you never call me. I'm so mad. Uh, let's see. When I was filming, you were in fucking Italy. What so the fuck I am I gonna me. do? Like, Call her. <laughs> oh, uh, oh hey, hey, Trisha in Italy. Uh, I just found out that like two days from now, I'm gonna be filming with Vinny from two the Two days. Jersey thank sh- you. That gives me enough time to yeah. buy a plane ticket and come home. But also, we're wow. working, so you can't really like talk to him. Because I'll get fired for having a person who's not... I don't know you, Tony. You just tell me where you're going to be. I'll show up. In her defense, even if she did do that and you got fired, would you really care? Because, I mean... (laughs) I mean... I I hung out with Vinny. I did a video with him. We did a little video. He made fun of my beard. I'll put it right here if I can find it. Oh, my God, please. So I'm here with Vinny and... uh, We're filming. Yeah. The the tanning. Laundry. We don't... We don't do any and, of that shit. And jeans. Is it tan and laundry? Jeans? And beard. And beard. And beard. Got it. And awesome. Beard. That's what the sequel needs to be. It needs to be set in the Jersey Shore. <laughs> I agree. That's genius. No, where do all the fucking seagulls go? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> I always felt like I never left this house. Why did you leave? Oh, it was on account of the tuberculosis. The whole area was evacuated. Yes, yes, this is the scene where they talk about tuberculosis, and that's why Mills and them left originally, mm. and they're like, she thinks maybe that's why Lydia doesn't speak anymore. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but then yeah. the piano starts playing itself in the mansion, of course. and it reminds me of the movie The Changeling with uh, George C. Scott, which is a really good mm. classic, but not the Angelina Jolie movie. Yeah, It's I, a really good classic ghost story, and if you want to know more about it, check out our good friend's movie dumpster. I was the guest on their podcast. You should guess on there. You're apparently just guesting on people's podcasts yeah, now. It's great. <laughs> you should just guess. Talking the- about things I like, it's wonderful. <laughs> oh. So blessed. Hashtag blessed. Don't, <laughs> don't subscribe to the Here's What I Don't Get podcast. <laughs> subscribe Rude. there. No. <laughs> and unsubscribe from Castle. <laughs> I don't know why you would go on a podcast uh, hosted by someone who was sued for $20 million <laughs> for harassment. I mean, that's problematic. Um, did he pay the twenty million dollars? No. The so then it sounds like the other dude's just crazy. <laughs> My favorite was the lawyer can never. He was the only one who never got served the papers. Our good friend Tab was caught up in a lawsuit mm-hmm. by a crazy guy who was suing all these people because he wasn't famous anymore and he blamed all of them. Oh no! And uh, <laughs> I mentioned it a lot. The lawyer tried to serve my friend Tab, but he couldn't find out where he lived. Oh, <laughs> so he was the only one who was never didn't served get the anything. Paper. <laughs> and then it expired and he was fine. Oh my God, it's crazy. Anyway. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so the piano is really creepy and I bursted out laughing when the door it's shut. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's really good. I realized this happens a lot. Like when we reviewed... Uh, the conjuring and the girl mm. gets picked up and launched across right. the room. Like that's supposed to be scary, but I was like, ah! so funny. And I did the same thing. I literally sat there and went, ah, <laughs> she just gets, it's funny. Cause she's like wiggling the door. So is that really how you laugh? Yeah. When, the, ah! when it's stuff like that, I do like a really loud, just like, one ha basically like a, like a geese honking, a goose honking. That's what <laughs> I do. sounds like.
Miss Mills tells Kidman that uh, ghosts are definitely real. And this upsets Nicole Kidman because she's got that four level of hell ideology. Mm -hmm. uh, are there different stages of heaven too? I don't. I feel like it's a problem if heaven has a hierarchy. I'm like, I don't know if that's right. Yeah, that wouldn't be right. I can kind of get hell. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Nicole Kidman does not believe that because it doesn't fit what her idea of the mm -hmm. afterlife is, which is a running theme exactly. in this. Like the kids don't talk to her about anything, any of yeah. this. Like they just go along with it. But yeah. But Nicole Kidman's had enough. Yeah. She's got to go find a priest to bless the house, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but this is where we start to realize that the house staff is, they, they know more than they're yeah, letting on. something's going on. Yeah, because she's like, hey, there's a cemetery around here. Look for it. And they're like, what? And then she leaves and they're like, she won't get that far in the fog. And mm -hmm. they're like, oh, by the way, cover up the cemetery. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cover the graves. <laughs> yeah, the fog scene is pretty creepy. It's mm -hmm. like pre, oh, well, it. the yeah. game was out by that point, but it was like pre Silent Hill. Mm -hmm. I, was oh, yeah. I was getting a Silent Hill vibe from that. Mm -hmm. We should go to the real town, Centralia, Pennsylvania. I've been there. Have you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a How total letdown. It? Really? Everyone goes there thinking it's going to be like Silent Hill, yeah. and then it's just not. It's not. No, you just kind of go, and some roads you don't want to walk down because you can clearly see it caving in, and oh, wow. other ones, like, it's, like, okay, but I would still, like... As you're going down, like test the ground because yeah. you don't know if that's gonna collapse. Because if you go in that hole, you're dead. <laughs> like, but yeah, people go there well. expecting it to be super yeah, foggy, no. and they're like, it depends on the time of the year. <laughs> yeah, and it's the Pennsylvania. Day. Like, yeah. right. I um, we know someone who like drove through it and didn't realize he like passed it. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I was expecting something uh, creepy. Yeah, if you're seeing anything creepy, it's you can see the coal burning. So like, you'll see the steam coming up through yeah. like the road and oh, cool. stuff. Like that's, that's the creepiest like, yeah. part. Mm -hmm. How did that start again? Didn't firefighters start it? They tried to get rid of trash underground and apparently lit a bunch of Something coal. like that. It was something mm -hmm. stupid. They did was, something, yeah. It was really dumb and it's still it happening. Still, yeah, it's terrible. I can't remember if there's still like um, people still living there. I think there was like maybe four people left or something oh, like no. that, but I don't know if they actually ended up like evacuating everybody. They have elections. Every four yeah, years, like, <laughs> one person's in charge. There's only two people left. <laughs> Am I doing a good job? I guess. <laughs> I mean, the so, fire's still <laughs> happening, but I guess you didn't start it. So, uh, but yeah, the running in the fog is pretty terrifying. It just gives you this like mm -hmm. desperate void. And then she bumps into Christopher Eccleston. <gasps> Grace. Doctor Who, I guess. And, He's the ninth uh, Doctor. And he was in, we reviewed recently, G.I. Joe Rides a Cobra. He's oh my god, he was the elf in Thor Dark World too. Oh my god, no one oh. remembers that. <laughs> That's the most forgettable Marvel movie after Captain Marvel. I was just uh, trying to think, I'm like, what else was he in? And I was like, oh god, that poor dude. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he's her husband, and mm -hmm. he's back. And he seems to be a little bit out of it. He does. He was I mean, at he war. Just, yeah. I, I got a question about this Later after the twist, because this part's kind of like, what's going on here? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they all reunite. They reunite. He's like kind of out of it. He just stays in bed. He doesn't even want to go to. Have yeah, lunch I with guess them or you're anything. supposed to assume he has like it's PTSD. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, he's cool with the kids first. Like, that's great. I'm going to bed. I'm never leaving bed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was more like, oh, okay, here's my wife. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go see my kids. Oh my God. Like, they still remember and love me. No. Yeah. Okay, I'm home. I'm gonna lay down for a while, cause yeah, it's yeah. been a while. But uh, Nicole came and her daughter get into a fight, and then the daughter like talks to Miss Mills. Miss Mills is like, I've seen the others. Mm -hmm. I've seen them. And she's you're like, Your comfy. mom will see them soon. Yeah. I'm like, That's lady. What's going on here? What's happening? This daughter is stupid. And you she, think so? Yeah. Why? She's like, Hey, lady, how can you see them? Who are they exactly? Who are you exactly? <laughs> she's a child. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Um, so, yeah, the staff meets at night and they're like, man, the mom is messing stuff up for us. Mm -mm. And they're like, what about the husband? And they're like, I don't even think he knows where he is. I'm like, no. what? what is the husband's deal? How did yeah, he even get there? I don't understand. <laughs> This is when I started like questioning, like, what is actually going on? Is Are they ghosts? I think that the staff is ghosts. That's ghosts, what the movie definitely. wants you to believe, right, I assume. Exactly. Or they're in on it somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, the dad is just like ignoring everyone because I guess his brain is broken. I don't know. Uh, it's not even BTSD. He looks like a zombie. He's yeah. just like... like, like <laughs> He's no expression. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> uh, 
Then the most memorable scene in the movie happens. The one that was in all the trailers. Uh-huh. I'm kind of sad it was in the trailers, but I get why they used it. Yeah. But like, that would have been great not knowing yeah. what was going on and then seeing yeah. that. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's scary. scary Movie 2 parodied it. They I have did, to double yeah. check. I have they to double think check. That's what I remembered it for. Uh, but yeah, so they put like, so why is the girl getting dressed up? Is it for like communion? Communion, or? yeah. Because okay. she said like when your dad comes home, you're going to do communion or something. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So she's dressed up and she looks like a bride, a bride. and looking back kind of weird that they made us do that yeah it's yeah. weird isn't it because we're getting married to christ i'm not kidding no yeah no i don't remember <laughs> i don't remember consenting to that yeah uh i found i have it i found in my like personal like home videos i mm-hmm. found my confirmation or communion or confirmation mm-hmm. day, one of them you know who did our confirmation my uncle he was a bishop in philly oh yeah well, de simone Oh, yeah. That's your uncle? That was my uncle. Yeah, my great uncle. Were you even at yeah. the school at that point? We were there together. It was fifth grade. I'll check the, well, I'll, we'll <laughs> check check, the tape. We'll check the tape right now. Let's see if we're there together. <laughs> my favorite is watching my communion tape. and You do they, that often? They have a few, yeah. <laughs> They have a hey, shots. Ian, it's Thursday <laughs> night. We got to watch my <laughs> communion tape. You just watch the camera like panning over everybody. And we're all children because, mm-hmm. you know. And... I remember my one classmate. Mm-hmm. Camera's going over. You see him doing this. <laughs> oh no! Why did the editor leave that oh, in? No. He's gone. And then it pans back. And he eats it. And you see him go. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I'm like, oh god! Why did the editor leave that in? <laughs> Probably because I didn't care, and it's also children. There was a few uh, boogie pickings, but he's the only one I saw eat. <laughs> oh my god! I'm throw up. <laughs> it's the worst. My ex boyfriend Every- did that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've dumped him. <laughs> Which one was this? Oh. This was a while ago. <laughs> a while ago. And I was like, yep, no. Yeah, fuck that's you. the end of that. Ew. 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 Right, now I got to try not to throw up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're all sitting here like, ugh. <laughs> we're not even seeing it. It's just the so, idea. <laughs> so, as I said, the scariest part of the movie happened. <laughs> yeah, that was the scary part yeah. of the movie. The mom, the mom goes into the room, sees the daughter playing on the floor. Eating her booger. <laughs> <laughs> And she has the face of the old lady. She has... Oh, shit, where'd it go? <laughs> she has this face. Exactly but yeah, this, like that. Yeah, exactly. this is the whole thing. It's like, where's my daughter? Are you mad? I am your daughter. What have you done with my daughter? Are you mad? I am your daughter. Sara, go ahead. You Mm-hmm. And that part scared the shit That's out of so me. Scary. <laughs> but I like Nicole Kim and just start beating the hell out of her. <laughs> like, mommy, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Psycho. A woman of Christ. <laughs> uh, they do say that mommy's gone mad, so. Mm-mm. But yeah, so, you know, Kim in fighting with her daughter, yelling at people trying to help her, not taking her meds. Classic woman stuff. Uh, the father <laughs> questions Nicole Kidman. Uh, about what happened that day. That day, yeah. Because remember, they, they keep mm-hmm. alluding to something that happened. Something. And at this point, she's taking off that black dress. This is the most skin we get out of Nicole Kidman in this. And I was like, I gotta rewind. rewind. No, I gotta, no. <laughs> please, please. Watch it over and no, over. No, 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 no. No, no? Put eyes wide shut on it. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay. Just that whole movie's it. great. <laughs> I had to watch that movie with my mom. It was very awkward. We're like, I'm sure this. There's a lot of things you've watched fine. with your mom that I'm like, huh. Well, you should have now. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, huh. Donna, please. Mom, this, this like, nude scene's going on for a while. <laughs> sitting there. We did that already. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> A uh, rental reviews. Uh, James was trying to uh, question if Die Hard's a Christmas movie. He's like, if that's a Christmas movie, then so is this, 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 and Eyes Wide Shut. And I was like, James, I can't count the time. Me and my family cuddled around and watched the orgy scene from Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> Good God. Nice Christmas movie for sure. I really should rewatch Eyes Wide Shut. That movie is really good. Mm-hmm. Stanley Kubrick's last film. Mm-hmm. And Nicole Kidman had the last line of dialogue in Stanley Kubrick's last film. Oh my God, guys, Newt's here. Oh. Hey, Newt. Hey, Newt. Uh, uh, Newt? Uh, Tony, Newt's crying. Is he okay? Oh, God, no. Why? Now, he does this shit all the time. He's a fucking crybaby. Man of steel. Man of steel. <sighs> Always fucking crying. Anyway, 
Uh, we never see what she tells the father. Right. But uh, <laughs> he's pretty upset. And he's like, well, I got to go back to war. She's gotta like, go bye. bye. <laughs> well, he says he's got to go back to the front. She's yeah. like, what are you fucking mm, talking about? <laughs> the <laughs> war is over. <laughs> yeah. Some say the war never ended. It never ended for This is basically, this is a prequel to Rambo. This is <laughs> Rambo Zero. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, Kidman also yells at him for wanting to fight for his country and kill Nazis. So, cancel Nicole Kidman. Um, oh, do you not want Nazis to die? <laughs> no, Trisha, that's please not go on. <laughs> talk about it. No. Why are you like I just this? feel but then, like but then, I would be really sad if my husband was like going back to war. I'd be like, no, just stay. Home. Especially like, if the war was soldiers. done. Exactly. Well, then also leaving her with those freaking kids. Yeah. Like, I can't even do anything with these children. I'm stuck in this house all day. Exactly. Like, Honey, I gotta go back to war. Like, what war? Right. <laughs> like, are you? What, what? <laughs> I'm gonna say that to Ian tonight. <laughs> like, Ian, I gotta go back to war. <laughs> like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I just leave. <laughs> Can you do a video while you do that? Yeah. I should. I, I should film it. But I guess uh, the husband decides, you know, boner one last time, and then he just Might fucking takes well. off. <laughs> uh, and then as become, men do, right? Yeah. Then he takes off and becomes the insane major. And twenty eight days later, oh, that's where he was going. He did go to war. He did. Mm-hmm. He did. And his, People killing people. 28 Days Later is really good. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't appreciate that movie when I first saw it. I was like, this is stupid. Yeah. And then as I got older, I'm like, this is actually pretty good. Pretty I was too young movie. to appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the kids wake up and someone's removed all of the curtains from the windows. They're all going to die. Panic. <laughs> Panic mode. They yeah, like how they just scream out. instead of, I don't know, like just climbing Hide under the bed and then yeah. yelling for the mom. <laughs> exactly. Or Going noticing the that they're like, not, not dying. Yeah, they're they're like, fine. hey, that's a little weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the staff isn't even like trying to hide. Right. They're just like, yeah, this is. They're fine. like, oh, yeah, I guess someone took them down. You know, oh. the kids are probably fine. Yeah. That's odd. Right. Where, I wonder where they went. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're cured. <laughs> you don't know. And it's like, okay, what? <laughs> yeah, Nicole Kidman just assumes they're assholes. And I kind of would too if I was in their oh, yeah. her position. If you had no idea what was going on. Why you want yeah. to kill my kids? Uh, but I guess at night, she finally like gets them away. Yeah. Uh, but at night, the kids climb down the pole to look for their dad. Mm-hmm. And in their search, they find gravestones. And at the same time, Nicole Kidman finds a death picture. And it's the staff. Oh, They're my God. G- 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that Nicole Kidman thinks she can use bullets on ghosts. Yeah, I thought that reminds right, me of... um. Exactly. Reminds you of uh, Keanu Reeves in The Devil's Advocate when he tries to shoot the devil. Oh, and it's like, I don't think that's going to work, Keanu. I don't know. <laughs> sure, me try it. I guess it works for Doom Guy, but I don't think it works for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, yeah, the she tries to shoot the ghost, yeah. and they're like, we're already dead. And we then, got- like, the little daughter is like, oh, come on, we got to run because they're ghosts. And then the yeah. kid's like, no, you told me ghosts have sheets and shackles. <laughs> they're not ghosts. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Harry, a little shit. I'm See, not lying this time. Get over never, here. You should never so stereotype. Bad. It gets you in these kind of problems. Never cry wolf. Yeah. That's the moral of the I story. I don't think, no. Crying wolf, no. That, that's not it. That's not it at all. That doesn't work at all. <laughs> but anyway. A little bit. They're like, you can't kill us, Nicole Kidman. We died 100 years ago because of tuberculosis. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, oh, oh. Bye. I'm, Half I'm scared. Half a century ago. Yeah. But uh, the kids are hiding. And they get grabbed by the old lady. Yeah, because they went into the little uh, wardrobe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was not as scary as I remember her looking. Mm-mm. I remember her looking a lot scarier it was when like I was a kid. like the eyes. I feel like when you're a kid, you're just like, what's wrong with her eyes? Yeah. yeah. Also, the thing, um, so every time like the old woman's like trying to talk to them, is that why they're all breathing heavily? Because the little boy does it, and then the girl did it at one I point, too. I think so. Mm-hmm. I think that's what's happening. Okay. And I also think- I was, like, one, I was like, oh, he's doing the same thing she yeah. did earlier. So yeah. Nicole Kimming goes to save them, and she walks in on a seance. Mm-hmm. Tell me what happened. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. If I tell her, they'll leave us in peace. Tell me, what's the matter? Don't tell her. Don't Spoiler! They've been dead the whole time. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the ghosts... Shocking are actually the new residents of the house and yeah. they hired a psychic to try to get rid of these ghosts. 
Yeah, yeah, so just... rewatching this after already knowing the twist, mm -hmm. like seeing her like go through the house looking for the curtains and like knocking everything over. Could you imagine? Because like they don't see her right. doing this. Yeah. They just see shit just flying well, everywhere. Then, like, <laughs> yeah. So oh, skipping true. ahead a little bit, the girl's like, sometimes we'll sense the new people and sometimes we won't. So it's like, when are they actually interacting with physical objects? Because like, did they just like walk around and be like, holy shit, there's a shotgun just floating across the <laughs> no, room. I don't think, no, I don't think there's, the shotgun there's was a, a shotgun part of it. going room <laughs> to I, room to room. I think anything sitting out and then was like being yeah. knocked over or whatever, yeah. or like doors opening and closing. I think that yeah. was a thing. Which means like someone had to be sitting there on a cold camera was messing them with the door while she's like going like this. Yeah. And I'm like, stop it. <laughs> I kind of wish we got a flashback from the same, human's point same. of view to see some of those scenes <laughs> yeah. like reversed. Exactly. Whoever's uh, remaking this, do that. Do yeah. Yeah, but awesome. I like that she starts picking up the table and slamming it and they're like, ah! Right, exactly. Also, uh, <laughs> the, the, the mom and dad, they kind of look like Morticia and Gomez. They, they do. Kinda really they really do. Did. do you know who the mom is? <laughs> who is it? Oh wait, you wouldn't care. Did you ever watch Game of Thrones? Uh, a little bit. Do you know the mom, uh, like the Stark mom, Catelyn? Uh-huh. That's her. That's her. Oh, okay. Who was the dad? Michelle Farley. Interesting. Who was the dad? I don't know, I didn't look at him. Who was the old lady? <laughs> who was the, the old- The old lady mom? was, um, what's her face? She's dead now, obviously, because it's like forever ago. But, um, isn't she, right? The, that, that, that lady. I don't know. The picture you drew. I, She's I from know. something. I didn't look up the actresses. I'm sorry. Oh. I thought you were like actually asking me. Like, I like was, but I didn't think you would like, even have. I thought you would be like, I don't know. Oh, no, I, She's from something. I can't remember what it is, though. Yeah. Dude, I don't freaking know. know. So It's the, no Molina. So the mom and dad are like, the mom's like, we're leaving. We got to get out of here. And this dad's, like, dad's like, okay, we'll leave. We're done. How much money do you think you spent on that fucking yeah. mansion? To just abandon? Like, holy shit. They got to sell it somehow now. I mean, I think can, of Hill House. I yeah. Can, yeah, I can deal. I can deal with it. What they fucking open up the curtains? Whatever. I mean, you wouldn't even believe that there were ghosts. You'd be like, nah, there's, there's no ghosts here. We did yeah. a seance. They presented themselves. It's not a fucking ghost. <laughs> Something else. They literally said they weren't dead, so they can't be ghosts. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> They're clearly we're just <laughs> invisible people walking around. Uh, but yeah, they they agree to leave, and Nicole Kim and finally admits to herself. She's like, I killed you guys with a pillow, and then I shot myself. And I guess they're just in limbo now. She yeah. take I feel like she probably did that because they had to live in their house with no light yeah. or anything. They were all probably super depressed. Yeah, she probably like snapped. It's so sad. But then like the the, the staff is like, yeah, we're gonna have to learn to live with the new people. It's like, mm -hmm. wait a minute. <sighs> what are the rules to this afterlife? Like yeah. that's what I want to do, especially right. with like the dad, because he had to leave to go back to where he died. Yeah, so can you yeah. just travel to other ghost stuff? Like, I think that was just like a fog thing when they were in the fog that he was able to like break through to be like, hey, oh, okay. like, was he? Mm -hmm. Did he leave his ghost residence and go through the fog and just wind up there? Probably. I think so. That they were looking for each other and then they finally found each other. So now he's technically like at peace. Right. right. Well, I don't know. We we're like, oh, I finally found my wife. What did you do to the kids? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, at peace. I mean, I'll still sleep with you, but I'm out. <laughs> exactly. that. I'm out. <laughs> Like you killed our kids, but yeah. hey, one last time. Let's so go. they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna all be ghosts together, and we're gonna learn to live with the new people, so we don't freak them out. Sometimes you won't see them, sometimes we will. Mm -hmm. And your kids can play in the sun, and they'll be little kids forever because you murdered them, you crazy bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is your <laughs> fucking hell, up. lady. <laughs> it's your fault. Ah, uh, yeah. And then the movie ends. We see Victor finally as he gets in the car, and uh, yeah, I really like this movie. Mm -hmm. Now it is similar to the Sixth Sense, where it's like they've been dead the whole time. But yeah. I feel like it's different enough. It is. No, it's not. Yeah. it's similar, but it's. Completely yeah, yeah. It didn't rip off of it. It's yeah, just it's... the twist ending of being dead, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like, it, it was set up differently. Yeah, different story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I really, really liked it. Classic. Uh, I'm interested to see how they remake it again. I yeah. hope they do it on the Jersey Shore. <laughs> I really hope they add in that scene of like a flashback of what actually was happening. Yeah, exactly. That's what I really want. Yeah, I think we in a movie today we would get it. Maybe they maybe they had enough respect for the audience where they're like, they get it. We don't need to spell it out. But I it would have been kind of yeah, cool, cool to see. Yeah, like, what's up see with it. this door? It's <laughs> exactly. opening. Exactly. Uh but yeah, so I haven't heard any information on the remake. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna look up some right now. I just pulled up news.com mm. where I get all my news. Huh. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, wow, apparently three people died 
in a video rental store recently. Huh? Yeah. How? Oh, it was like it's like right around here. No way. Yeah, apparently there was a gas leak, and uh, it says here, Italian TikToker, obsessed Korg fan, and super famous and important YouTuber all died. There's another Porg fan. How many super what? famous important YouTubers have? Oh, there's a lot of those. But how many have video stores? Only two that I could think of, and I, I stole the other one's video store. <laughs> Man, guys, I think we're dead. What? <laughs> no way. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think about? we've been dead the whole we're time. We're not dead. Well. We're not. We're not dead. I'm gonna accept that I am dead, and uh, I'm gonna wave bye like your uncle did. <laughs> Bye. Shamos is shamos. Bye. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Listen to the voicemail segment that we're somehow going to do, even though we're dead. And I mean, I hope someone keeps putting up videos now that we're dead. Uh, I guess Tab wins. His Godzilla podcast wins. I mean, if we're able to still make this and we're dead, we can just continue to yeah. do our come own. Come to thing. think of it, we've died a lot and we just come back. I, I got to see what the big deal I is. I got eaten by yeah. a shark. Yeah, right, exactly. I'm like, and I'm attacked. <laughs> we got eaten by a shark. We did. We drowned. The, the devil Titanic. took over our souls. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I got hit by an asteroid a while back. Huh. And in the first episode, a giant VHS tape killed me and Newt. So, eh, just a normal week, I guess. Anyway, I like, it. share, and subscribe. <laughs> Check out Trish's Italy. Get Listen to our Godzilla podcast <laughs> and no other Godzilla podcast. And uh, <laughs> let us know what you think of the others. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talking, talking about tapes.